Hello everybody, I'm Helen and now we're going to show you how to make some yummy biscuits. So what you'll need for these are something like digestive biscuits, something like jammy dodger type biscuits, some round ones, good solid round ones, a couple of mini eggs or, or something like the mini eggs, mini eggs shaped anyway. You need a, a little bit of water, some icing sugar, some food colouring. I've got green here and it will represent the grass. So green is good. We don't like blue grass. But if all you've got is blue, that's fine. We'll work with the blue. And some hundreds and thousands. These are colourful dots that we put on icing, aren't they? And I've got a, a small bowl to mix with and a spoon and a board to work on. So come back and join me when you've done all that. Oh, make sure you wash your hands and you wear an apron if you're a messy kind of person. Okay, see you shortly. Hello everybody, are we all clean? And got our aprons on and ready to go in the next part. So I've got my bowl ready and my spoon for mixing. What you want to do is grab your icing sugar and put a, a, good, a good dollop of icing sugar in your bowl. Now there's probably some mum shouting, but we should be sieving the icing sugar, but I haven't got time for that today, so I'm just putting some in the bowl. When you've got it in there, I've got a, just a little bit in there, you don't need too much. Just a couple of drops of water, just to mix it. You don't want it too runny. So we'll get on and mix that there. There's just a little bit of water in there with all that icing sugar, so that it goes quite thick. You need it quite thick, not too runny at all. You can always add more water or more icing sugar to get it to the right texture, but probably best just to add it a little bit of water at a time till you've got it to the right texture you want it not so that it's runny but quite firm okay I might have made mine a little bit runny there so I'm going to add some more here we go once you've got it at the right texture and it's quite thick you can add some drops of your food colouring. Now mine, mine is quite thick now, see there's no way. Whoa, that's good. <laughs> that's not runny at all now. Just a couple of drops of food colouring. I've got green food colouring because this will represent the grass. Oh yeah, that's a good green. Right. You can see my green icing in there. Then you want to grab yourself a digestive or similar biscuit and that is your base. So put that on your board and cover that in your green icing. Oh, this is where it gets messy. It's what we like. Right, good, good bit of green icing on there. When you've covered your digestive biscuit, you want a jammy dodger. This represents the tomb. Okay, so a bit more in the corner where you're going to blob your jammy dodger in. And while you hold that there, have a mini egg. This is the, the door of the tomb. And you can slide that in and shove it up next to your jammy dodger. It might make it stand up a little bit. There we go. All right, now we've got the tomb and the tombstone that covers the, the whole of the tomb. And we're gonna put some hundreds and thousands in a pot and then sprinkle them. These are the flowers in the garden. Oh, that's very cute, very nice. So what we've got there, 
Oh, I tipped it and my tombstone fell. There we go. There's my tomb with the door of the tomb rolled away and some flowers on the grass. So what, what's, what's with the tomb? Well, people, people in the time when Jesus lived and, and probably still today in some places around the world, instead of being buried in the ground, they were put inside little caves called tombs. And across the cave, there would be a massive stone that would be rolled against the entrance. And the person who had died would be inside and nobody else would be able to get in. Now, Jesus was the one who had died. Remember, he died on the cross. And when Jesus died, he was placed in a tomb like this. We had the big stone rolled across the front of it and everybody went away. But three days later, there were some ladies who were coming to, to put some perfume on Jesus' body. But when they got to the tomb, it was like this. The stone wasn't in front of the entrance. It was rolled at the side and the tomb was empty. Wow! Did you listen to our story about Jesus coming back? He was resurrected from the dead. Wow, there's a big word. But Jesus is alive again, and that's the best news ever. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye.